Bung Chen, Pao Chen, Hung, Hung, Pao, P. Keep coming. Roll back, P, twist out, P, turn, Bung, pull back, Bung, pull back, Bung. Hi, welcome to Shingy Academy, and this is a bit of a spooky special that we're going to do today. Um, we're, we are going to talk all about how not to become one of the undead, how to survive the zombie apocalypse. So what we're going to talk, in, talk about today is, is a kind of like just dead kind of practice of Shingy Shan, and how not to be a zombie Xing Yi practitioner, how not to do zombie Xing Yi. Now, what do you, you're probably thinking, what, what the hell's Paul talking about? Uh, zombie Xing Yi, what is zombie Xing Yi? So we're gonna do a little demonstration for you. This is what zombie Xing Yi is like. You know, you see this a lot, people who are practicing without any life in the, in the practice, in the Xing Yi, in the movements. And you see this on videos as well. So you got kind of like two types of zombie. You've got one that's like the completely limp, dead, dead-eyed zombie. So that it's like this, like, you know, th th there's, th there's a lot of talking Chinese martial arts about Fang Song, about being relaxed, but you can go too far. It's like, ugh, everything's floppy. You know, sometimes we call this noodling because you're like, your arms become noodles, okay? And then you're like, let's start off, let's do a bung shan, let's go. Now we turn and let's do Pishan. So uh, I'm kind of exaggerating this a little bit. This is, this is like just an impression. You know, sometimes you get this kind of like. And it's just a little bit, you know, there's so much waiting around, there's so much pausing. It's it's like like glacial movement is this like ooh, ooh. And nothing's kind of got any any intent to it or any life. The other type of zombie that you see, in fact this is more like a, another monster like Frankenstein's Monster. This is like the other type of of Xing Yi you get, where everything's so rigid, and you go. <laughs> so this is zombie monster Xing Yi. How do you get out of doing Xing Yi like this? We're going to show you some zombie applications as well in a minute, but. Let's talk about the solo practice first. How do you get out of performing like a zombie, okay? So just before we started, we were talking about this and Joe, Joe remarked to me and said, just put some fucking life into it in his nice Yorkshire accent. So yeah, just put some life into it. You know, when you're practicing, then make sure that you want to practice, that you enjoy practicing. You're doing this because you enjoy it. And if you're doing it because you don't enjoy it, then what are you doing it for? So when I'm doing my practice, okay, Daniel, let's do, let's uh, we go into our Santi Shu, and from here, we're like, okay, now I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do Pichan. And just before that, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm kind of excited before I start, I'm like, oh yeah, this is, boom, boom, yeah? And it's not just the speed, it's the intent. So even if I do this really slow, bah, bah, that's fairly slow, yeah? Slower. There's something there that's, that's like kind of like alive in there. It's not this kind of like, stop, pause, wait a minute, think about what's coming next maybe, or, Oh, yeah, it's, it's got this kind of like, whoa, yeah, everything's raring to go, okay? Um, the other thing is the transitions, okay? This is a martial art, and when you're applying a martial art, 
So like I say, uh, Daniel's going to throw a few punches at me. Um, and I'm just going to defend myself a little bit. I'm not going to really go back at him. I'm just going to kind of evade a little bit and slip and move around. Just keep moving towards me and, and keep trying to trying to hit me, yeah? Okay, so, so Joe's rolling. Let's go, okay? So keep coming, keep coming, yeah? Okay, so you see how Daniel's just moving. One, two, three, slip, move, move, punch. But let's do that again. Let's put a little bit of variation there. So don't just come at me okay. like, like, like this, yeah? But, you know, like maybe P-Tran, okay. Hulk, Pow-Tran or something. So let's do that again. So he's coming out here, okay? Keep turning with me. Don't let me move away. Yeah, you're trying to get me, yeah? Yeah, really trying to get me. Okay, okay. So you see how he's moving at me all the time and he's trying to strike me, yeah? But... <laughs> What you see people doing a lot of is they, they emphasize the technique, a single technique. You see this in solo. It's like, ha! And then there's this pause at the end. This kind of like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like some kind of hero stance, like, bang! Hey, look at me. I just did a Petran, okay? When, if, if Daniel did that to me, boom, bang! Yeah, he's not going to stop there like you just saw before. He's going to flow and move and stuff. So why do you stop in your solo practice? Yeah, like a zombie going, Ugh. we don't want to be undead. We want to be alive. Yeah, so so when Daniel comes at me, he's flowing and then, you know, I'm flowing back at him as well. So I, I he comes at me. I slip and avoid and I come back at him and he has to respond or he gets hit. OK, so once again, yeah. You're gonna throw your punch at me. I don't know what's coming. I slip, I go for a strike, yeah? I'm gonna hit him in the chin here, so he's gonna to have to move. And as he moves, I respond again and follow. And then he moves and I respond again and follow. And you see how I, if he's not responding well, he keeps getting hit again and again and again. But um, come again once more so you can see this, yeah? So I slip and punch, slip and punch, slip and punch, slip and punch, slip and punch. Defend and attack, defend and attack, defend and attack, defend and attack, defend and attack. Yeah, so we're, we're making our Xing Yi live. Yeah, so there, um, what I'm going to try and do is that sometimes people criticize us for not doing the five elements all the time. It's like, where's your P-Tran? Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is it's a little bit more difficult because I've got to kind of set this up a bit. And, and usually when I'm fighting and, uh, and whatever, uh, sparring, um, I just use what's most appropriate. So now I'm going to try and slip in some, some of the five elements so that maybe you'll be able to see them. But what you'll find is that when we're doing this, in zombie shingy, you get these big movements. Boom. 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 Yeah, really extended, big, strong movements. But in real shingy, it's subtle, it's small, it's more difficult to see. So Daniel's going to come at me, same thing. You're going to try and do some five elements as well, yeah. some different five elements. Um, try and keep your footwork tight as well, nice and, nice and tight, okay? And what I'm going to try and do is, is see if I can get in there some examples of all the five elements. So I don't know what he's going to do. He's just going to come at me, okay? So, so there's a peach run, yeah? Like, ba bam okay? Come at me again, here. There's a bung chan, bung chan, pow chan. Yeah, keep coming, yeah. There's a zran, another zran. Keep coming. Hung, 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 pow, p. Okay, keep coming. So it comes here. There, this is what we call primary palm out of our zran. Okay, so, so there's a twist here and a twist here happening. So there he came in here and I, I covered this off with a twist and I hit him in the neck with this here. So he keeps coming. Then here's a pow. There's another pow. There's a bung. Yeah. Yeah, try and hit me. Yeah. Okay. Keep coming. You got to get try and hit me. Yeah. So there's a P with a little bit of a side. Don't stop. Keep coming. Yeah, so we've got some good, good examples there. You can see some of the five elements happening. And he is actually, you know, he's, he's not going hard. He's, he's making me move. He's putting me under a bit of pressure. But this is what we might call like kind of testing or light sparring, where we're not trying to kill each other, but there's a bit of, a bit of competitiveness in there, a bit of non-cooperation. So um, 
So there, how else do we get uh, our, our life, our intent into our uh, five elements practice? So we just, I was just talking about transitions. So you saw there that there's never a stop when we're fighting, because if I stop, I'll get hit. If he stops, he'll get hit, okay? So when we're going solo, P, roll back, P, roll back, P, twist, out, P, twist, out, P, turn, bung, pull back, bung, pull back, bung, pull back, bung, roll, hung, roll this in, roll this in. So what, what we're doing is we're using the body movement to recycle energy all the time. So rather than stop dead, now I need to put more energy in. You have to push off the floor every single time. Bang, bang, bang. Energy in, energy in, energy in. Why well, I don't want that. I want like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, flow, flow, flow. Yeah, roll, recycle energy, recycle energy, recycle energy. And that's all coming from here, from the waist, from the Zhong Wan, from the Dan Tian, and the interaction between the two. So this is something that, you know, you see people doing all the time. They don't have the transition. And it slows you down. It slows you down in sparring and fighting because you can't roll and transition between one thing and the other. Now, the other thing is intent, yeah? So if you're practicing, you need to be engaging your sin, your emotional, creative, spiritual kind of side of yourself, your mind, um, sometimes translated as heart, but it's not really like physically your heart. It's, it's the essence of who you are. And, and you need to engage that. And then the shin engages your E, your intention. And then your intention engages your energy, your chi. So if you come to practice and you're really tired and you're not really bothered and you just go, oh, right, you're not engaging your sin. Yeah? You're not engaging that creative and, and active part of yourself that says, yeah, come on, let's go. Okay, so what I'd say to you there is if you're coming to um, your practice and you're burnt out after a day of work or something to avoid becoming that zombie Xing Yi, yeah, you should practice a little bit at the start of clearing your mind, getting out of that funky mindset of like thinking about all the crap that's accumulated in your life. Get out of that. You're practicing now. You're doing Xing Yi. You're doing something that you love. Okay, so. Get out of that, clear your mind, and go, right, now I've got my intention, and my intention is set. And your intention is like your focus of awareness. And you, where your intention is, is going is where that your energy is going to go. And energy translates to movement, and movement translates into your structure, your li. And, and then that goes where you want it to go. So rather than be all floppy and uncoordinated and not bothered, you focus everything. You focus your entire body. So you're like, bam, bam, bam. And then I bring Daniel in again. You know, you get the same thing in, in your sparring. Just sink a little bit, yeah? Okay, so when, when you're sparring, sometimes you'll get this kind of, especially when you're being very cooperative. So be nice, nice with me, yeah? So you're not really gonna punch me. Yeah, you're gonna stop like that. I wasn't ready for that, I was talking. Yeah, really. <laughs> and I turned yeah, and there's a peach ran in my face. No, no, I, but you did, that's you, you, yeah, good. So, so, um, so you're not really gonna punch me. And it's like, oh, okay. Then you get this kind of like, it's too soft, it's too light. No one's really doing anything. I'm not even really looking at him. I'm, I'm just kind of like flopping my hands about. And what you get sometimes, uh, you get this kind of like, and no one's really doing anything because we're just holding on to each other. And I'm trying to find my way in. And then, you know, there, it's, there's nothing there because he's, he's blocking it. But that's because I've got no real intention there. As soon as I put some intention in, boom, 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 then things start to flow through. You know, you disconnect. You're like, yeah, so it's like I connect, I move, I disconnect, and the disconnect gives me a clean strike, okay? But that's only because my intention is, right, I'm going in there, yeah? So my hand's on this side, but I want to hit him here, so I, I go, boom, boom, 
Yeah, I'm using fine motor control to get to get this deflection. It's using what we might call cow to hook, and then I'm disengaging, going straight to the target. But that's all at once. It's not that I go hook, disconnect here. It's I'm hooking in at the same time. Everything's connected. Your intentions there. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed that. We kind of enjoyed it. It's, it's just a little bit of silliness, but with some seriousness behind it as well. Trying to get you into thinking about Xingyi in a different kind of way. Xingyi is not just about movement. Xingyi is not just about technique and following through forms. There's, there's all sorts of this philosophy and principles behind it. And you hear a lot of people uh, quoting these old manuals and texts and um, these principles. But you don't see a lot of this being put into practice. And what I hope to give you in our videos is that we're showing you the real deal. We're showing you some real Xingyi and we're showing you what's behind it. So all of these principles and stuff, we are constantly trying to test them and put them into practice. And it doesn't matter what level you're at, whether you're a beginner or you're advanced or intermediate, wherever you're at, you're always trying to um, use those principles and get better at them, uh, at, at things and improve all the time. Me included, you know, I don't have all the answers and I hope that I can help anybody out who, who is just starting the journey or, or needs a bit of a helping hand along there. So um, remember that we have all sorts of other things, Facebook and Instagram, um, the website and our online courses. So check out all our other things. Remember to like and subscribe, uh, share with your friends, tell people about this. It'd be really helpful if you did all of that for us. We really appreciate any questions, uh, emails that you give, and I try to respond to everybody. So um, hope you all have fun training.